All right, so here in my hands are two of our really gorgeous and awesome flap neck chameleons. These are a really neat species of chameleon. I don't know if you just saw this one here. Uh, when they get really angry, they, they flip up the little flaps and display at you. Uh, these guys are really, really sturdy long-term captives. They um, aren't very commonly bred in captivity here in the U.S., uh, but they should be. They're not too difficult to keep at all. Uh, so they make really great pets, really good display ones. If this one here would cooperate, and instead of displaying at me, uh, this one was bright yellow just a second ago. Uh, and this one here has got more green to it. They do get these spots when they're stressed out, so they're not too happy with being handled. But if you want a neat display animal, you can set them up indoors, outdoors, wherever you want. Uh, they do really well. Um, a lot like a uh, veiled chameleon is kind of how you want to do the setup. Uh, with a nice hot basking area at the top of the cage and then a much cooler zone near the bottom. Uh, they can do well in a cage that's 24 by 24 by 48 because they can get large. Uh, this one here is about a mid-range size form. This one's still a very young one, or well, a younger one. They um, get even bigger than this one does. I've seen some pretty decent sized ones. So you want to give them a lot of space, lots of foliage to climb on, water them pretty heavily when you first get them, and then once they get more established, uh, they do tend to not need nearly as much watering or as much dedication to their crib. If you want his information, I'll definitely... Uh... Uh, they're eating large crickets, doobie roaches, the medium-sized to smaller-sized hisser roaches, and then even really big adults can still eat pinky mites. Um, some of them obviously do much better with handling. This one, even though it's got spots, but it's not freaking out too bad, this one here clearly does not like me one bit. Uh, so learn your chameleon, learn what it likes and dislikes. These are really awesome. They're a great chameleon to start with if you don't want to invest a lot of money in, say, a panther chameleon right away, uh, but you do still want a really cool chameleon pet, I highly recommend these. Learn how to keep chameleons with these, and then you can transfer all of that same knowledge over to the big, beautiful, colorful panther chameleons. Uh, to learn more about them or to order them, you can go ahead and visit our website at www.llreptile.com, where we have these and all of our available animals listed.